Dave. Okay, I'm going to um, try to make this short, about 10 minutes, just a review of some of the exercises um, to help with your low back and your knee. All right, so first you're going to lay down carefully. You can use your arms to help brace yourself, your forearms and your abs. Lay down. Let your back settle in, your spine, and fold your knees, bend your knees, and keep your hips, knees, and ankles in alignment. So your legs aren't going to flail out to the side or pull inward too much. Just keep them in alignment. Take some inhales and exhales. As you exhale, draw the navel to the spine and engage your abdominal muscles. Also make sure your neck is in a nice alignment with your ears over your shoulders. So if you need a pillow, you know, to do that, fine, but you don't want it too bent or too extended. And your arms are floating at your sides as if you're floating on a raft. About three breaths, just inhaling, exhaling, drawing the navel to spine, and just letting everything sink in and relax. And then you're going to begin your knee folds as you had done before. You're going to inhale, and on the exhale, gently stretch one leg in. And you can start with a small stretch because you're going to feel that pull along the low back. And then extend it a little. Again, on your first one, don't push it, just however much it wants to extend. Hug it in the next time a little deeper. And hold it for a breath and then extend it. I'm going to move it along in the interest of, you know, making this video shorter. Hold it in one more time, maybe a little deeper. Breathe into that and extend it, maybe a little straighter. Think about really reaching it out from the hip through the ankle. And then bend it gently and help lower it. And repeat that with the other leg. In, breathe. Extend in, maybe a little deeper. Breathe, hold, and then extend. And at least a third time. Three to five of these is fine. And then extend. And if you want, you can bring this one in, leave it there, and bring the other one in. And kind of hug both a little bit. You can even rock gently side to side. And then lower them and give them a little bit of help or take them down one at a time. When you take them both at the same time, that can be a little strain. Replace them to hip distance apart. Replace to that like settling everything in like you're floating on a raft. So all bony prominences have about equal weight. Then you're going to focus on just warming up the pelvis and the low back area a little based on how this feels. The other day this hurt, so if it hurts, don't do it, but you can check every now and then and see how it feels. You're going to think of your pelvis as a triangular kind of bowl. You're going to inhale, you're going to exhale, and just gently curl your tailbone, rocking, you know, the weight into the hips and the low back. Inhale there, and then exhale, gently rock it back to a neutral position. If that hurts, stop there. If it doesn't really hurt and it just feels like a gentle stretch, you can repeat that again, exhaling and curling, inhaling and taking it back to a neutral. Um, likewise, you want to try out tilting it this the other way, which is tailbone down, hips up a little. If it hurts, don't go there. If it feels like an okay stretch, you can repeat that two more times. Then bring your back back into that neutral, comfortable position. Arms relax at your side, which actually they should be the whole time. I just was using mine to demo <laughs> the position of the pelvis. So you're going to inhale and do the knee sway, which will give you a little lateral stretch. You keep from the navel up perfectly still. You exhale and you let your knees drop to one side. This stays still, the shoulder stays down, and from the navel down, you're rotating to one side. Inhale there. On your exhale, imagining a railroad tie kind of being driven through this hip. So you, you use your oblique muscles as well as some of the legs 
equal muscle use to bring the legs back to the center. Inhale there, exhale, and let them drop gradually to the left side. Inhale, enjoy that stretch, keep everything else relaxed on the floor. And then exhale as if that railroad tie is being driven through that hip bone and the obliques and the legs bring you back to center. Repeat that, you know, to each side three times. Then you're going to move on to your um, shoulder bridge, where your shoulder girdle, you know, your shoulder blades and your arms and your head are the foundation. And you inhale and you exhale and lift the lower part as one unit. And your arms, you're really using your arms for support and reaching long out through the tailbone and the tops of your knees toward the wall in front of you. Inhale there, exhale, lower as one unit. And repeat that three to five times. Each time, inhaling, exhaling, really working your foundation and just Tightening your abs, squeezing your butt to lift. And then when you're up there, lengthen out through the tops of your thighs and your tailbone. So you're elongating that spine. Inhale there. Exhale lower. Um, so again, repeating that three to five times. Then the other thing that we did was um, the side legs. Primarily for your knee. But also, it does work your, uh, your abs, and whenever you're working your abs, that helps support your back. So you're going to stack your hips, stack your shoulders, and then let your um, legs hinge so you have about a 45 degree angle, which helps make it easier for you to stay stable as you're going to start kicking that top leg around. Your front top hand can be in front as a little kickstand. Then you lift your top leg to hip height. Not way high. Oh, actually, for your first exercise, you're going to do that. You're going to just take that leg up and lower it. And up and lower it. Um, you know, however many of these you were doing, you can do like 10. And lift. And then when you're near the end, just hover in the last couple of inches, three to five, and pulse it up there for about 10 more times. And you'll really feel that <clears throat> along your outer thigh. And I know that you have a lot of strength there, but so you can do as many as you want, but average 10 should be fine. So that's your just leg lift and lowers. Then the next one is to get the front and the back muscles, especially the back because they don't get as much work. Um, that's when you're going to leave it at hip height and you're going to swing it forward with a little soft point and a pulse and then take it back, back, back and flex the ankle and keep reaching that leg long, longer, long gist right out from that hip through that ankle like somebody's pulling it back there. Tighten your abs and don't let your body roll forward like the tendency um, is going to be. And then bring it forward again with a soft point and a pulse. Flex the ankle and reach the leg long, longer, longest behind you, tightening the abs and lightly using your hand as a kickstand. Um, you can do three that way and then you can reverse, flexing your ankle front and then taking it in a soft point when you go back. You don't want to over point because that can cause cramps. So repeating with a flex forward and a soft point. And that just works a little bit different muscles in the legs. All the while, working the abs to keep your balance. So that got top muscles, well, side, this side, front, back. Now we're gonna do the inside of the opposite leg. And this is similar to one you had been doing, just slightly different. You're gonna bring this leg in front. You can hold it there. And then you're gonna lift the bottom leg and lower it and lift. And lower. Six, eight, ten, however many, you know, till it starts to get tired. Try not to torque the ankle like in a weird way. 
you're just going to keep that ankle hanging off of the end of your leg and you're just thinking about the knee and the ankle, the inside part of them, reaching toward the ceiling. Then when you've done six to eight, or even ten if that feels okay, hold it at the top of your range and pulse it up and down in again a small range, two to three inches. And try about six, eight, or ten of those until it feels like it's tired. So that's it. Um, you know, and then you flip it, of course, and do the, that leg sequence with the other on the other side. And you will um, work all those same muscles. You know, so the up, down, front, back. Hold this one in front and lower lift. Okay. Hope your back and knee feel better soon. Have fun in Italy. Bye.